Well, hello out there to all my fellow styrene users and abusers. This is George coming to you from Kitchen Table Scale Models. Down in the annex, which is where I keep all my paint. And uh, if you've seen the video I posted recently uh, of my shop, this is, uh, this is the paint shop. And this is also where I do my filming. Uh, because if I tried to do it upstairs, all you'd hear is dogs barking because there's five dogs running around up there. Uh, this is going to be a short little video, uh, kind of a four-way video. It is, uh, it is a mail call video. It is a stash ad video. It is sort of an unboxing video, but uh, last but certainly not least, it is my official entry video into the BG Scale Model Workshop Whirlybird Group Build. I've done mostly cars, or actually really for the last six years, I've pretty much done all cars. I've recently done, uh, kind of gotten out of that a little bit and done a little, uh, a little, little fooling around with some World War II uh, fighter craft. Um, I am a bit of a World War II history buff, and uh, I kind of like building those, so I decided I'd start doing that recently, but uh, I, I digress. Uh, when BG announced this build, I thought, yeah, I'd really like to do that, but, well, you know, what copter am I going to build? There aren't too many copters in World War II. Uh, the ones that were kind of weird and ugly. Um, the more I thought about it, it was, like, pretty natural that I chose the Huey. Um, I happen to think one of the best movies ever made was uh, Coppola's Apocalypse Now. Uh, if you've not seen it, please go see it. Um, it's an intense movie, but it's it's just an absolutely spectacularly done flick. Um, a lot of great cast members at, early in their career. Um, fabulous movie on Vietnam. Um, some of the scenes are just, just startling. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to buy a Huey, and uh, I, I started looking for a looking for Huey copters, and I found this kit. It's a one thirty second scale Ravel. Um, I got this one a couple of weeks back, and uh, I actually posted a picture of it on the uh, kitchen table scale models uh, Facebook page, uh, and and sort of a soft announcement that I was going to build it. But the more I looked at this kit, and the more I uh, read reviews of it. Uh, it occurred to me that eh, there's got to be a better out, better example out there. Um, not that it's a bad kit, but uh, you know, I'm 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 building something I'm really not comfortable with to begin with, and from everything I read on this kit, it does not go together easily. Um, but it's a 132nd scale kit, which is a little bigger than what I'm used to building an aircraft. I like I like 148th. Um, I kept looking, and I eventually found. Uh, found another kit, so uh, I'm subtitling this video, Honey, I Shrunk the Huey. Uh, let's get rid of this thing and bring out this. So yeah, 148 scale Huey uh, from Atelieri. A um, lot of things about this kit I like better than the Ravel kit. Um, but uh, it arrived today from Hobby Link. Mailman delivered it, so that makes this a, uh, a mail call video. Um, it also is going into my stash as of today, which makes it a stash ad video. And I'm going to take, I'm going to open the box, which makes it an unboxing video. Um, looks like a nice kit. Um, this is second or third time I've done this because I've been having problems with my camera and my sound and my lights. But anyway, um, nice decals. Um, very nice decals. Um, what's really cool is it's got the decals for the first Airborne Cavalry, which I'm not mistaken is in fact the unit that was depicted in uh, Apocalypse Now. I need to confirm that, but uh, it doesn't matter. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not so much trying to duplicate those copters as I am trying to just uh, tip a hat to them and recognize them. Um, so there's the decals, um, uh, not a lot of pieces in here, only three parts trees, uh, clear parts, which I've kept in the bag to protect them. And then, uh, I've got two trees of, uh, of other parts here, you know, parts for the cabin, rotors. I'm not going to try to point out all these things because I don't know what half of them are. I'm a model car builder. Um, and here's... Well, I know what they are. Those are called fuselages. See, I do know something about airplanes or aircraft. Um, so, yeah, my, my plan tonight is to take this thing upstairs, get it washed, get it into pre-assembly, and uh, maybe uh, be doing some priming and painting by the weekend and uh, get this thing done pretty quickly. It needs to be done by September 1st. That's the date that uh, BG has given us. 
Um, I should be able to easily do that, but I'm going to get it done faster or sooner um, because I really need to get jumping on another group build that BG's part of, uh, together with Lucas C at uh, Lucas C at Lucas C's Hobby Headquarters, and uh, Chuck at Chuck's Hobby Spots. If you watch those guys on YouTube, they're doing a Porsche group build. And I plan on throwing my hat in that ring as well. I uh, haven't quite decided what I'm going to build yet, but uh, I've got a number of Porsche models, and I'll figure it out. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this is it, folks. Um, gonna going to build a Whirly Bird. Going to enter in a group build. If you like this video, what's wrong with you? No, if you like this video, please hit like. If, uh, if you really like this video and want to see some more of this trash that I post, um, hit sub and you'll subscribe. And uh, until then, remember, Charlie don't surf.